All right, we're back in my bathroom and I wanted to talk about my new kind of thing that I've been trying out for my skin um, because I've noticed my skin getting quite good lately. I don't know if it's diet or what I'm doing, but I figured why not talk about what I'm doing as well because maybe it's a bit of both, right? So I actually realized partway through getting ready this morning that I hadn't done it last night, what I do with the Bakuchi oil. Um, in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is Bakuchi oil and this is supposed to be like basically the natural version of tretinoin, tretinoin, whatever, I'm saying it wrong maybe. But it's supposed to be like the natural version of that. And I suppose like you could get a product with it in it as well. But I decided to order the straight up Bakuchi oil and I've been putting this on my skin lately. So I've re I realized partly through my skin routine today that I didn't put it on last night. So I figured why not put it on today and show you guys how I do it. So yeah, so I've already actually put my moisturizer on. So... Whoops, I'm going to actually wash it off so I can show you what I do. But you guys have seen my get ready with me kind of skin routine. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, that I made recently. So I'm not really gonna go through that, but usually I give my face like a good exfoliation with the cloth. Today I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. But I'll show you how I put the Bakuchi oil on. So I still use this shea butter, even when I do the Bakuchi oil. I don't know if that impedes it from getting to my skin, but I don't know, I haven't seen any problems. I still feel like what the Bakuchi oil does is it just exfoliates my skin a little bit more. And it seems to be doing that, so I don't know, I think it's fine. So I take like a chunk of the shea butter, pure shea butter, and I just put it on my hand and you have to really like warm it up because otherwise it it's all chunky. So I put it on both my hands like this actually and warm it up. And then I take my Calia, which I love this moisturizer. It's like pretty natural. I would say like most of the ingredients you could pretty much eat except for maybe, I don't know, some of the first ones there, acetyl alcohol, but everything else is quite natural. You probably can't read that. So <laughs> no point in me holding that up. And um, so what I do is I put that on my hand and then I take the Bakuchi oil and I just put about four drops. This one's kind of hard to get out. So one, two, three, four. And I just ordered this off Amazon. Um, I don't even know the brand here. But anyway, I just got it off Amazon, cold pressed, whatever. So I take that and I do this. I forget what this is called, but you like emulsify it or something. <laughs> and I do that and then I just kind of put it on my skin like this. And actually the interview that I heard them talking about Bakuchi oil was a, um, on Chef AJ's channel, and it was a dermatologist talking about it. But um, I ha she did say, not about Bakuchi, but about tretinoin, that it's not ideal to like mix it into your lotion, but I think with Bakuchi, you kind of have to mix it into something. Otherwise, um, yeah, you're just putting pure oil on your face, right? So um, one note though, about the shea butter, I only do this in the winter because it's so dry here in Canada. I need just an extra something to, yeah, help moisturize my face because it's so, so dry. And it's still very much winter. Just show you guys a little example of what we're experiencing here. But in the summer, I will probably just switch to doing the Bakuchi mixed in with this lotion so anyway that's it and then it just kind of dries and it's not like i love this skincare routine because it's not um shiny it's not oily like my hair is not going to get all oily from the products on my skin but generally i would do the bakuchi at night 
And then in the morning, I haven't been doing it. At one point I was doing it twice like at night and in the morning and I found it a little overwhelming for my skin, a little too much and um, yeah, but my skin I thought has been looking really good and it could also be the green smoothies that I've been incorporating for the last over almost a month and a half now. I've been trying to do more of a Dr. Goldner protocol um, to try to heal some other issues, but then what I do Sorry, last step is I take some shea butter, mix it into my hand like this, and then I like to put it on my lips because they get dry as well. But yeah, that's kind of my natural skin routine. And I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, that's it for today.